good afternoon friends how are you today i'm doing pretty well myself today is friday it is the 10th of august i think yes can you believe it is almost we're almost two weeks into august that's crazy that's absolutely crazy i can't believe it anyway today i thought i'd vlog i uh, don't know why just thought i would because i haven't vlogged in ages actually that's a lie. I have actually have been vlogging all week. I've been vlogging my progress in uh, quilting and finishing my pixelated rose quilt. So we've had kind of not a lot of success. I, yeah, I don't know. I just had a bit of a fail day yesterday. I started quilting it and it just didn't, just didn't go the way that I wanted. So I gave up. <laughs> I just left it. I'll show you what I'm up to with it. So this is the pixelated rose quilt at the moment and this is the one line that I quilted yesterday and it just, I'm oh, just so not happy with it. It's puckered all on the back here. Oh, it, it has just been a complete nightmarish week. <laughs> it just hasn't been a very good week. Let me sit down and we'll ooh, chat about it. So yeah, this week I have been vlogging and I've been vlogging my progress in getting this finished. I did pin basting. I haven't done pin basting in in years, literally. I usually spray, spray baste, but I've just been having some issues with spray basting and uh, I don't know what it is. I've just sort of lost my, my quilting skill mojo. I don't know. I just, the all of the quilts that I've quilted so far this year I just, I just just haven't been happy with they just haven't been good at all and I just don't know how to quilt quilts anymore I don't know what it is I just they just keep being all wrinkly and horrible and and like I'm really uh, like almost OCD about having my quilts nice and flat and pressed well before I quilt it and as I'm quilting it so just I don't know I have a feeling it could be my sewing machine, my my new brother's sewing machine. I just haven't figured out the correct settings on how to quilt with that machine yet. It's so like, I don't know. I just haven't managed to find the right sort of setting because you can change the levels of the feed dog and also the pressure of the foot. I'm just, just finding it really hard to find the right balance to quilt with that machine uh, which is really frustrating because I put in a lot of money and a lot of time and effort and passion into that sewing machine and it's just not quite delivering what I want it's really wonderful to piece with don't get me wrong I love piecing with that machine but quilting with a walking foot is just not working out all that well and it's super frustrating. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I really want to quilt this quilt myself uh, because I love I love doing that. I love doing absolutely everything uh, myself <laughs> kind of thing when it comes to making a quilt. So I thought with this size quilt I was going to get away with just pinning, pin basting it. Uh, and then quilting it obviously but I think I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, unstitch that line that I quilted yesterday I'm going to take all of these pins out and I'm actually going to spray baste it I didn't want to spray baste it because it's such a big quilt this is the biggest quilt I've ever made and because it's really heavy and like clunky it's it's really it's super hard to handle um, but I'm determined to do it. I want to do it. So I'm going to take it all apart. I'm going to reset it. So I'm going to relay the the backing, the batting, and then the quilt top. And then I'm going to spray baste it. And I'll give quilting a go again on my new machine. Uh, if I'm still not happy, then I might try on my trusty old uh, Innovus brother brother and nervous machine that I had before this one because quilting on that machine is really nice but it's just got a really tiny little um, hole um, in the center you know what I mean that bit if that doesn't work then I might try free motion quilting 
uh, which is which I'm not very good at. I suck at free motion quilting, but you know, practice makes perfect, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna give up, and someone else will have to quilt it for me. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's just been a super frustrating week with this quilt. One day it was like a high. I'm like, yes, I'm getting it done. I'm being so productive. I'm totally going to get this finished this week. And then the next day it's like rock bottom. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this, is, this is a nightmare. Nothing's working. Oh, all that time wasted. But anyway, it is what it is. And... The next time that I find a chunk of inspiration and passion for this quilt, then we'll get it basted again. Anyway, that that is that is that's what my week has been. Just thought I'd up update you. So that vlog documenting the uh, beginning of the end of this quilt, um, I'm going to put together. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue until it's finished. I'm gonna continue um, documenting and filming that quilt as I go along um, in getting it finished. So yes. But anyway, I'm just gonna vlog today. I'm just gonna vlog what I'm doing today, and uh, yeah, just take you along for the day. Well, this is a different angle, isn't it? So I think I'm just gonna have some lunch. And then I've got some baking to do today. Uh, my mom has requested uh, some scones because tomorrow they have a market day at church and they're doing like a Devonshire tea, morning tea thing and everyone's been requested to bring scones. Uh, so I'm going to make some scones and oh no! I just noticed there's a big chocolate stain on my quilt. Ugh. That's what you get for eating chocolate on the lounge when you're watching TV. Oops. It had to be on the white bit and everything. Oh well. It needs a wash anyway. It's time to make some scones. I'm using a recipe from this book. This is the Women's Weekly Baking Day. I love this book. This is my favourite baking book that I own it's fantastic and the recipe that I'm doing is this one it's called buttermilk scones and hopefully that's what we're gonna have hopefully they'll look a little bit something like that but uh, yeah we're gonna get into making that and I'm also wearing my beautiful Kath Kidson Disney apron that I love so anyway I'm gonna get all of my ingredients somewhere and we'll make this one is actually a pretty simple recipe not much is going into this one we just got some self-raising flour sugar some salt butter and of course some buttermilk Ooh. I know this is possibly like one of the most boring bits of information I will ever tell you, but this is the first time I get to use our new digital scales. Oh, we had digital scales before that we had for like for years. And the other day I put it back in its box and it went straight through the bottom and dropped on our tiled floor, which is very, very hard. Uh, and they broke. So yeah, we got new scales. And I don't know why they did this, but mum bought glass scales, uh, which is not a very good thing for our house. Because um, as I just mentioned, if anything that is breakable in any way is dropped on the tiles in our kitchen, it, it's instantly broken. So why they got glass scales, I got no idea. But anyway, first time using. Woo! I'm so excited. I don't know why, just am. Oh no, what have I done? Pounds, mils, oh, I've just ruined it. Grams. There, okay. <laughs> we got it.
the red face. Am I red? Yeah, I'm a little bit red. Um, but success! We have really lovely scones. I'm so happy with them. They're a little bit small, but it worked, which is good. Ooh, look at those babies. Nice. And then I have a spare one that I'm going to uh, sample in a minute. I also made a lovely slice. This is a strawberry and coconut slice, I think, out of the same book. That slice has literally just come out of the oven, and I'm actually standing at the oven, and there's a nice, lovely warmth of air coming through. You can see my hair. It's actually really quite hot, but anyway, I'm going to try my scone and see if it's actually any good, uh, if it's actually edible. Unfortunately, I actually don't have any jam or cream to put on this, but that's okay. I used all of the jam in this slice. It's just going to have to be some margarine, but ooh, that's a nice crack. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. That didn't really go so well. a success yay good job Amanda I've never been successful at making songs pardon me for speaking with my mouth oh. success happy days mm -hmm. oh, I'll make them again am I good morning and happy Monday to you I haven't chatted to you since Friday I've had a busy weekend at work uh, and now it's Monday and I'm catching up on everything that needs to be done so so far I've done some washing and other household bits and bobs I've edited the vlog from Friday and I'm gonna add on what I'm doing today to that one and now I'm about to do some editing for block 5 because I filmed that weeks ago and it's a very relatively easy block to edit and get done. So I'm going to do that because I feel bad. <laughs> um, everyone's been tagging me on Instagram of all of the blocks that they've caught up with. And I'm like, oh, I better get out the next block tutorial. So I'm going to do that today. So I just thought I'd stick today on to the end of Friday's vlog. And yeah. in the mail today and I thought I would do just a little mini haul to show you a few of the things that I got. Well I actually know all of the things that I got. What am I talking about? Two of the things that I got are clothes and then two of the other things I got are sort of like homey everyday bits that I thought were pretty cool. So the first thing that I got is this <laughs> this thing. It doesn't look like much. Let's get it out of the package. Oh, that's a bit cute. It's a little wall shelf. I actually thought it was going to be bigger than this, but that's okay. This is by a brand called Sass and Bell. It's just got a little wooden shelf on it. Uh, and I thought I'd put that in my sewing room, just in my desk, um, just to sort of stack stuff on it. Again, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this. I thought maybe I could put like some fabric on it or books or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is pretty cute. I like it. The other homey bit that I got is this thing. It is called a wonderful, lovely, magical kitty corn colour changing mood light. Wow, that's cool. Seven glowy colours. I love it. This one needs three AAA batteries. Oh my gosh. But let's open it and see what it looks like. It looked super cute on the website. Struggling. Struggling. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so adorable. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? That is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
cool. I'll grab some batteries for that later and I will show you what that looks like, but it is so adorable. Oh! Mm. Hot. Next thing is a pajama set and this one is uh, a very special pajama set and very cool. I thought, oh my gosh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get that because you'll see in a minute. Because I am an Australian and we have these beautiful, gorgeous marsupials in our country, I was like, I have to, I have to. It's got a gorgeous little koala on it. Look! Koala de tan. These are the pants or the leggings with it. And it's just this gorgeous little koala print. Just because I'm an Australian, I thought I'd have to get them. And then finally, although it is still winter here in Australia, uh, I'm so looking forward to warmer weather. Uh, it's actually really quite a nice day today. Uh, over the last week, it's kind, of, it's kind of been really nice and warm. It's like a, a really nice teaser to spring. It's just been so nice. But because of the nice, lovely, sunny weather, I cannot wait to start wearing some summer dresses again. So I've had my eye on this one for ages and they've finally restocked my size. So I grabbed it. It was a little bit expensive, a little bit more than what I would really pay for a dress, but I just love it. Hopefully it will meet expectations. It's got just basic straps. It's got this sort of blue and purple green stripe. It's tiered and flared and on the bottom it's got this green and white stripe. Also, while I'm here, uh, we'll do a little bit of a spotlight haul too. As you do, what is a vlog without a spotlight haul? It's not a lot of stuff, it's just a couple of things that I've sort of restocked on. And we've also just got in our new Halloween range in store and some of it's really, really cute. Um, so I picked up a few Halloween stuff, but anyway, let me show you. First of all, fabric. I don't know whether you remember me saying, I think it might have been in my last vlog, that I ran out of fabric for my Lucky Stars. Well, I finally picked up fabric for that uh, so I can finish the last two blocks in that quilt top and then the two Halloween things that I picked up were these candy molds and their little skulls mm -hmm. and just like one of those plastic things and then oh, this stuff is so cute and then I picked up the most sweetest Halloween bunting look at the cute little pumpkin and then there's a ghost and I think there is a spider in there as well let's open it and have a look so yeah oh there's, a, oh, there's stars too Cool, so pumpkin, stars, oh, the cutest little spider. Ooh, another star, ghost, star, spider. That pumpkin is so cute. Oh, I'm Mr. Pumpkinhead. Okay, so I've got some batteries and I've got my little screwdriver set because this has a little, a tiny little screw on the bottom there. I've got to unscrew to put the batteries in, which is helpful. So I think that one. E oh jeez, so tiny, almost lost it. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, <gasps> wait, just wait, just wait. Put the screw back in. Oh my gosh, the most fiddliest little screw. Ooh, I wonder what that means. <gasps> Why is it changing color? Is that what it's supposed to do? Add some glorious kitty corn glowy magic to any room with this magical mood light. So cute, fun, and portable. This unique night light will create the perfect relaxing atmosphere in any environment. Oh, so it just changes color. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Where am I going to put you? I don't know. I love novelty stuff like this. It just, just makes me so happy. I need a life. Yay. I've entered the maze of washing. Oh, we're going to get the washing off the line. You get the washing off the line? I also washed my quilt today. The one that I discovered a chocolate stain on. So, I think it's nice and dry, hopefully. 
because I want to snuggle underneath it. So I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. It's been a long day, full of little bits and bobs and errands and chores and lots of different things. So yeah, thank you for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the vlog over the last, from my last couple of days. What? I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you as always for watching and I'll see you again all another time very soon.